Welcome everybody to Emotions and Shit. I am not your host today. I am not. I am just a spectator with questions. Your host today, who's taking over for the day. Go ahead and introduce yourself, little lady. Hi, it's Danielle here from Between Us Girls, the podcast. And mm-hmm. yes, this is my show now. Look me in the eye. Whose show is this? My show. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And today, okay, it is my <laughs> this is my show now. <laughs> is this your show? Y'all seem like you're all comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> but we have a lovely guest today. Uh, introduce yourselves. Oh, I'm lovely. Yes. Yay. Um, hey, everyone. I am Dee Dee, also known as Dee Dee Sweets. Um, Host of Right Man Child podcast, co-host of Casually Sarcastic with Keisha and Dee Dee, and also another show, but we don't really do it that much, so I'm not going to mention it. <laughs> I love it. And Miss Danielle, what are we doing here today? Why have you gathered us together to fight the Infinity Wars? What, what you brought us here together? <laughs> so today we're going to talk to Dee Dee. About being a oh pansexual, boy. like what does that mean? I mean, I, I feel like he is going to educate the masses with this subject because it's just for oh, one, it's so interesting to me because I feel like I am, I'm not disciplined enough. I don't want maybe discipline is not the right word, but I'm not advanced as a person enough to fully see everybody as a potential mate Mm -hmm. so i guess you can break that down for us because that infinite i don't i don't i don't deal with that i need i need to be a little bit smaller for me so (laughs) you got to break it down for me to understand so that's why we're here today so we talk about sexuality and what and what that means and sexuality what that means I swear to God, I'm becoming like the fucking poster child for this. Um, <laughs> of course you are. <laughs> so, like, okay, so one thing I want to know is, like, how how old were you when you realized that you were a pansexual versus bisexual? Mm. Oh, hmm, that's a lovely story. Um, like most things in my life, it happened in my early 20s, and it also occurred out of boredom. I was tired. Yeah. You know, you know, I know folks, um, there's this belief that you were born with it, but I also believe that it is a choice. And I just got tired of women one day and wanted to give, you know, men a shot. And, you know, so that, that was, I forget what exactly what age that was. But yeah, that was my uh, early 20s. I came out as bisexual. And then a couple years ago, I kind of discovered what pansexuality was and I wish I would have known about it sooner because I would have came out as that because I've always been open to people regardless of you know however they identify gender or you know or sexual preference or any of that stuff um is that making any sense because I, I can't think I'm getting like I think I'm getting mixed you up in like- my word sense but do you feel like you need needed a label like that's what you needed that to be able to say okay this is what I what I am and now I can move forward in life you know at the time yeah because you know you you always get these get into these arguments you know you see them on Twitter and everywhere else like you know just just folks try to uh, invalidate bisexuality and even though I came out as that it didn't really fit me at the time but you know that was just a label that was there but um mm-hmm. shit. i think maybe I think, what, yeah. one thing we should do is like figure out the difference between a pansexual and a bisexual yes because, oh um, um like at, i think there's a lot of confusion with that because yeah, I mean, like you kind of want to have it both ways so why why is it not a bis why are you not a bisexual um damn that is a good question uh yeah i might have to cheat and bring up google um well i'll tell you um, what i read (laughs) oh yes Um, oh detail (laughs) i'll tell you what i read and and what my understanding of it was um i mean but you live this so that's a 
for you to decide. Um, but based on what I read is that, you know, most people feel that they are um, bisexual when they only want to date like a man or a woman and not necessarily somebody that is trans. And that's kind yeah, of that sounds about right. different sort of come in to play it. Yeah. yeah. And that's another reason why I identify as a uh, pansexual because I literally and figuratively love everyone. <laughs> regardless of who they are, what they identify as also within reason. Cause you know, I'm not R Kelly. Fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> So like how so since your dating pool is like so wide open, like how is your dating life? Um, shitty because your dating, um, your dating life is shitty, and you have way more options than everybody else. <laughs> well, that's true. You know, it's it's. Oh man, I want to believe that. I really do want to believe that my dating pool is, you know, Niagara Falls or whatever. But it's it really isn't because you you just run into folks who could care less and want nothing to do with you because of, you know, who you choose to fuck when you're not seeing them. Mm. It was just really disrespectful, picky people. I mean, I, and I'm trying to, you know, not let that bother me because, you know, pre- you know, not everyone's going to fit your preference. You're not going to fit theirs, you know, even though it can be problematic at times, you know, that's for folks on Grinder, Lordy. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, you want to talk about problematic? Those problematic motherfuckers on there. Um, but oh man, I guess the best example I can think of is when um, I was at this club with a friend of mine. He brought two of his friends that he worked with, and I was uh, vibing with this one girl, and it was all going well until I, you know, told her about my. Uh, you know, I told her about my sexual preference and everything, and she said it was too good to be true. And then it quickly turned into a late night BET drama. Oh, what? I didn't expect that. <laughs> yeah, it's just you know. Oh man, it's. What do you mean too good, too good to be true? Like, because I would imagine that if that most women, I'll say most women that I know, if they were approached by a guy and he said that he was pansexual then it would be like, oh, that's nice. No, thank you. Because a lot of women don't want to deal with somebody that also deals with men. So Yeah. So what what was about what what about that situation for her was too good to be true? I guess that. Like how could he be so nice and respectful and loving and a shitty dancer? Oh, she yet, said you're too good to be he true. He sucks dick. I she was so nice. oh I have a threesome with two guys. Like I just yeah, um, that person is about as rare as a fucking unicorn. <laughs> That's why I thought the story was going. So I was like, "Wait a minute, what?" <laughs> no, but I, I, I guess I don't know. And it's been like that for like over a decade. Like I, it's a miracle that I actually find people to date and you know smash on occasion. But you know, just. <laughs> So I would imagine that you would probably have more luck with men more so than women because absolutely that. not. But really? So no. okay. So men have an issue because I'm I'm a, I'm totally assuming right now. Yes. So <laughs> the men that you deal with are they they identify as gay? Is that how they identify as? Um. For the most, part? it really de- it really depends because the last guy I um messed with was a uh, was a uh, trans guy. Okay. And the only problem was that he was antisocial. But, you know, it's like, how, how are you going to be on a date with me and you keep saying you don't like people <laughs> repeatedly? I, like people, so. <laughs> I mean, join the resistance. Join the resistance. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, obviously there was something there because I fucked him in his backseat of his car that night but you know oh wow <laughs> I love these stories because they take turns I don't expect go on oh so, I yeah mean, so I mean, likes, obviously he just likes to be with you he doesn't want to be around other people but you have I a problem it. with that because you don't want to feel like you're hitting 
Um, I wouldn't say hidden. I mean, he was pretty out about it. Um, so that wasn't the problem. It's just the subject. I forget what the problem. I don't even know what the problem was. I forget what it was because we really didn't last. Like we went on a couple dates, and that was it. Mm. Like I didn't hear from him ever again, and that's okay because you know, just, just no, no, nobody wants to fuck a boring person. I guess. <laughs> Did he have like an issue with you also being attracted to women? No, he didn't care about that shit at all. It's just that. Eh. See, that was my point, though. Like, I I would imagine that guys would be okay with it, whereas women not so much. You know, it 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 could be the other way around at times. I wouldn't know because my experiences with men have not been so great, and some of them. Um, Involved Craigslist ads. <laughs> no okay. more Craigslist. Oh my god! I gotta ask that. I have to ask that. Okay. <laughs> do tell. I mean, this do Craigslist, ask this Craigslist thing. So, was it like a? Did you put an ad out or did you answer an ad? Uh, both. Both. Yeah, when I was uh, <laughs> when I was living alone at the time, I wouldn't even put my face. I would just put my uh, best asset. <laughs> oh, my, my inbox is open. I'm just letting you know that right now. <laughs> A word. I just do. Like, where were you like a week ago when I still had him like on deck? Like, I deleted all those files and everything. <laughs> he said on deck. Do you get your lighting right too? Because I have trouble with that. Getting the lighting right and the angle. It's like, yeah, getting the light and the angle. I, I managed to get that. You know, you know, live focus is a wonderful thing. Oh man, it's like a struggle for me sometimes. To be <laughs> How did we get here? <laughs> you see. <laughs> We're talking about my date life now. We're talking about perfect dick pic angles. It's an art, man. I remember I got solicited for a dick pic while on air once. I mean, I gave it to her, but it was it was different. Oh wow, wow! Yes. That never <laughs> happens on my show. For shame. It, <laughs> it was great though. We're friends now. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're the she's the best. Oh. Um, uh, but like, uh, Danielle, you know my birthday was yesterday, right? <laughs> was it? Happy birthday! Thank you. I'm just saying my DMs are always open too. But yeah. <laughs> I don't send pictures, so that's yeah. Oh wow! But you're but you're requesting one of mine. I'm it's just hard. Saying, you said you put it out there already. I'm just telling you that my inbox is always open. If should you ever feel the need to share. You know, if you need an opinion, ask me, is this is this a good picture? Should I bring a little bit more lighting in? If you need suggestions, you know, I can do that for you. That's all. Oh, my goodness. So I sent, a, okay, full disclosure, I've sent a dick pic to my co-host once because I wanted. <laughs> oh, my God. Because I wanted to oh my. those same answers. And I can't I, help. That's all I'm saying. And I love her to death because her first response was, okay, you need to tilt this way. You need to angle this way. Move that light over. Like, it was nothing but, like, straightforward, standard answers. Like, t- real technical, right? <laughs> she did. And she improved my dick pic game. Like, shout out to you. Wow. Yeah. It's called being helpful. You guys are well, the best. That's, yeah. No. <laughs> Well, okay. I'm, I'm not gonna say mine were, you know, perfect. No, actually, they were because it's me, you know, <laughs> Mr. Aries. But like, if I send someone that picture, it's with the intent of seeing them on it. Oh. <laughs> so I'm well. just making sure I got consent, Daniel. <laughs> well, I, oh, so you send that, you get a consenting. I got you. I, got I, you. I, I always, I like to ask for permission. You know, the, you know, consent is key, folks. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. You should do it more often, very, a lot. Very, very yeah. true. If I send you a picture of my penis, will you sit on it? I like. 
Yeah. I like it. Formal. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, you 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 look fantastic on it. But yeah, it'd be a good fit. It'd be a fantastic fit. It'd be a good fit. I check out your selfies, and I feel like at the right angle, this could work. Yeah. So, so okay. Here's a nerdy thing. This is how. This is, before I sent one of my my latest dick pics, this is what I did. I was trying to hit on this girl. I didn't know how to do it. Oh boy. So, we were both watching wrestling, and I said, "Hey, you look just like that girl right there." <laughs> it's, it's, I have a crush on her because she's hot as hell. <laughs> and then, and her response that was, work? "Was that a work? Yeah, it, it definitely did. <laughs> wow. I mean, the dick pic didn't help. I mean, that you know, the dick pic helped a lot. Like, because I how do I put this? I put my hand on. Is there a certain technique you do when you put your hand on? We'll get back to serious talk, but is there a certain like, do you use your hand in the picture? Like, yeah. Sometimes I do. Is I just, I mean, it's not as elegant as when um, you know, women send uh fantastic nudes. Like ours is just all boring and shit. I mean, what, what? I mean, what can you do? It's like you just. Not everyone has a sprite bottle. I mean, just <laughs> or remotes and shit. It's like, come on, man. That's just lazy. Like, I just. <laughs> One of mine I was lazy with. I just did an okay sign with my hand. And I was like, I didn't know what to do. Oh wow. What? <laughs> <laughs> the problem was, I didn't realize until later, I have a ring that I always keep on. And anyone who knows me knows I have that ring. And I left it in the picture. <laughs> oh, boy. Identifying mark. Yep. If it gets out there, oh, well. I just want to get, I just want to be Black China famous. That's it. <laughs> oh, wow. Why? Um, so I can make some money off it. That's the only reason. Why? I, it doesn't work that way for men, though. Like, <laughs> because men are the consumers just... of that type of stuff. So it doesn't work the same way. Uh, I wouldn't say that. I'm kind of picky. You picky? To a certain extent. Like, oh, God, never mind. Let, let's move on because I, I, I don't want to sound like a body shaming and shit. I'm not about that life. I gotta okay, so, like, what is your preference though you like let's let's go there did you say you yeah me i'm your oh shit hold up (laughs) 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 i mean since since uh, hell i I wouldn't yeah since junior high i've liked a certain kind of lady oh well, I, I mean, I hate Drake, but there's a certain line he has. Well, I'll just leave it at that. This conversation is like my favorite. I just want you it's guys. It's your favorite? Because I'm lost right now. I just don't know who he's talking about, me or you. He's talking about you, I think. Oh, he's talking about me. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. I got lost for a minute. Okay. Um. <laughs> I mean, hey, Jason, if you ever feel curious, but you know. <laughs> oh, I knew it was coming. I was like, I'm waiting for it. <laughs> uh, you know, Dee Dee doesn't discriminate. I like being everyone's first. <laughs> wow. Um, but I think that the one of the misconceptions is, is that like you pretty much like everybody. And that are pansexuals well, like mm. everybody versus actually having a type. Like that was one of the things um, that I was reading about. Like that people get questioned on all the time is that that they think that um it's like, oh, so you like everybody? Like everybody's okay, like you don't have a type or anything. So that's why I asked that question. I do have a type. Just be respectful and not racist. That's a type. It's a, it's a good I think you mean more like a body type. Like yeah, oh, like, like I said, that, that like Danielle, anything. like yours. Like <laughs> yeah, so you're attracted to my body. I mean, my body is sexy. yes. Let's just start there. Well, <laughs> that, that's a given, <laughs> right? <laughs> what what am I what am I witnessing? Anyway, um, <laughs> wait, no <laughs> greatness, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, Lord. I I have a question for you then. Ask away. Well, this is a serious question. Someone asked me something. We're going to go serious. <clears throat> Ask away. Do you care how uh, mm, in media 
the pansexual is not really represent represent really. Usually they default to like bisexual. Do you feel that's a problem? Do you want more representation or do you not give a crap? Well, um, man, it's I'm I'm in between that. Like part of me just doesn't give a fuck. Like <laughs> um, while the other half is like, shit, you know, we out here, right? Like we definitely need better representation and you know and I also need uh bisexual and pansexual men to be honest with their uh potential partners and not hide shit because uh they've been um yeah they've they're, they're, they're yeah they've been killing my game too for like the last 10 years like I'm just t- tired of this whole down low shit still being a thing yeah. in 2018 but I also get that you know some folks are either denying that they're that way, don't really see themselves in that way, or just, you know, just don't want to be bothered. I mean, I can't be mad at them, too. I can still flip them off. Hmm. What, were you oh, accepted I, by your family when you first came out? Yes and no. I mean, I have certain family members that I haven't spoken to for many reasons, but me coming out just seemed to be like the nail in the fucking coffin, and that's okay, because, hmm. you know, fuck them. Um, the people. So a... Oh, go ahead. No, I, I think that's like a problem why you know people are down low because they they fear not being accepted. You know, so so they hide it because of that reason. Because it's like, okay, nobody's going to love me. Nobody's going to be my friend anymore. I'm going to be all alone if I come out and say that you know I like men and I like women. And then, and then, especially in the black community where it's so... Oh, like, man. I know a lot of women are just like on such high alert about it. And it makes men, you know, further like dig into their shell because it's like, oh, she's going to out me or whatever. Or she's not going to accept me for who I am. And she's going to tell everybody else this is how I am. So, I mean, it sounds easy just to be like... You know, hey, I think that fuck everybody it. should just be honest, you know, yeah. yeah, and say fuck it. But it's very hard for somebody that has that fear of just really not being accepted and being alone. So yeah, I guess that it's... makes you're a little bit stronger than most people. Um, oh, shit. Um, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I I still have ways to go. I mean, sometimes I have, you know, my doubts about that i mean it it took a year for me to come out to my mom because that's the person i was scared of like um getting disowned by and hurting the most but you know she was nice to me you know she said don't be on the receiving end i haven't had the heart to break that news to her yet (laughs) she's like give the dick don't take it (laughs) yes oh man well and, you know, through many of my experiences, um, it's the reason why now I'm a strictly top. Oh. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> and, I mean, for, for those folks who are, like, afraid to, like, you know, live their best lives and come out and everything, um, mm. come find me. You'll be accepted by me, and you can accept this dick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I wasn't ready. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh dear. Woo! That's my so first funny. time talking to y'all, and this is this is what happens. <laughs> first time guess. having an actual conversation, and we go here. Great to the gutter. Well, I mean, Indeed. as far as representation goes, um, you watch "She's Got to Have It" on Netflix. I tried. She identifies as I could, pansexual. I couldn't get through the first 15 minutes. You know, like it, as soon as Mars. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It was a struggle, but I as I continued to watch it, it, it developed really well. It's one of those, it grows as the show goes on, kind of. Yeah. The first episode is a little rough. It, it is. Because yeah. I was like, why am I watching this? Because it seems like she's just fucking people. And yeah. I'm like, why am I. Hey, I'm all for that. Yeah, but it's weird because she's like, because I showed uh, my lady and she was like, so we're just going to watch a show about a girl fucking people? I was like, I mean... Like, have you seen Game of Thrones? That's, I know. that's a good 50 <laughs> minutes every episode. People fucking, fucking and fighting. 
<laughs> exactly. So, I mean, I don't see the big problem. It's just this show, they look like us. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. mean, the, the, the only issue that I had with She's Gotta Have It were the guys that she was into. And it seemed like they only had, uh, like, she was only attracted to, like, one particular part of them and not them as a whole. Yes. Um, I mean, and have you seen them? I didn't even, I didn't connect with why she was attracted to them. Other than uh, the married guy, which I can't remember his name because I mean, he he kinda, yeah, he kind of like had the total package, but he was married, so there was that that fault. I didn't understand Greer. Greer was just annoying to me. Oh, the other uh, Greer was the the model dude, right? Yeah. And then um, the bicycle riding dude, like, oh my, he was more annoying to me. Yeah, I understand why. I, yeah. okay, I Greer. That's where I turned it off. Like. I just like within five seconds of him speaking, I'm like, "Fuck this, I'm done." Yeah, he I mean, was... they also have Deadpool. Huh? Deadpool is supposed to be pansexual. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Because he is yeah. not to sound weird, but he is. He has slept with a variation of things. Variation. Yes. <laughs> While looking like a California raisin. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Aliens, demons, men, women, you name it. That's what He's goes the on fucking the Captain Kirk of come. the Marvel universe. Yeah, he, he married a demon and or sorry, a demon vampire. Uh, is that who Hellcat is? Interesting. No, wait, oh, no, no, he, he hooked up with her, but he 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 literally married a demon vampire. That yeah, makes sense. The marriage ended when she tried to take over the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord. Look, you should have known what you were getting into. You just can't marry a demon vampire and not expect them to try and take over the world. There are rules. Are. That's what prenups are for. I mean, she was ambitious. That be a clause. And a vampire. That's a lot going on. There was a lot going on. Chica? Her name is Chica. Oh. It was... When I saw it, I was like, what is... Like, they got married. I didn't know where she came from. They had a whole marriage episode. I was like, what is this from? Where is she from? Who is she? <laughs> but I got a question. Another question. Another question hit me. Yeah, questions. Yeah. So this is kind of from my gamer, the gamers who listen. When playing a game, and this is kind of a weird question. Uh, when playing a game, what characters do you play as? Which I don't get the why well, that's a question, but whatever. Like, do you play as men, women, women? Give a fuck. Oh, women. I, I play as women. Oh. Even in Call of Duty, it's a beautiful thing. Huh. Explain. Well, I guess, you know, just, I don't know, just being around strong women, being around my mother, my sisters, my uh, aunts, my uh, bestie who I live with. So it's like, you know, I might as well just play as the best person ever in a video game. So, yeah, even in Destiny, Destiny 2, both of my characters are women. Just just makes sense to me. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yes. Interesting to me because when I used to play Mortal Kombat, like I don't, I don't know any of the characters' names, but I used to play as guys all the time, but nobody would even ask me that question. Hmm. See, I mean, I used to float between it. Like, I know when I write stories, I always, I, I actually made a list of all the characters I've ever written, and majority are women. I would say every three to one, yeah, three to one are just women characters. I just like writing women characters, so. Maybe you have a lot of feminine energy. Maybe. That's what I've been told. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, when fucking uh, <laughs> DC uh, EU could have used you for a certain movie. <clears throat> or the, or the, the feminine Wonder Woman. No, I was just saying Justice League. Cause oh. <laughs> the last person who supposedly had feminine energy, you saw what came out of that. Yeah. Yeah. See, I knew that. I knew that about this man. I've been saying this for years. Nobody wanted to listen. Nobody wanted to listen. But it's yeah. cool. Because, man. But anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sound like a crackpot over here. Yeah. All I, said was I don't like, give a fuck if you wrote Buffy. Right. Anyway, <laughs> we'll stop being angry nerds for a second. So, <laughs> I have one question as I crack my knuckles. This is a question for me. from Well, from my lovely, lovely, lovely co-host. Miss Haver oh, Rain. Love, love, co-host. 
because she's the oh i'm not gonna say what that she is the uh open-minded one of us let's say that <laughs> oh what is the freakiest thing you have ever done like if you done threesomes foursomes fivesomes Pound oh dear them. lord um before i answer that um you're still gonna want to talk to me after this right danielle <laughs> yes <laughs> okay <laughs> just making sure just making sure um let's see um I'd say the best thing out of all of them was this uh, orgy I participated in a few years back. Oh. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, there was a time where I would go to Seattle a lot because most of my friends were in right. Seattle and a majority of them were... Um, should, should I say BBW? What, what's better, BBW or plus side? Um, either one is fine. Just roll with it. Okay, yeah. It's like a lot of my uh, BBW friends were in Seattle and I'd always go out there and it'd be fun. i go see them, you know, blow their backs out and go home. And there was a bash going on um, one time, so I went to that. That was cool. And a friend of mine was having uh, one of her little birthday parties and like a little penthouse she rented out and it was an all night orgy. Just, just it's just it's just a beautiful thing. It's just a lot of big women and big dudes with very big thingies just everywhere. Just it was just great. The only thing that pissed me off is that they were all straight men. So just what a way. <clears throat> you know, I that's, that's not hot. It yeah, but also that sounds like a lot. No, I mean like with heat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's what that's what air conditioning's for. They had the AC on. Come on now. <laughs> I don't want to see the cleanup because that <laughs> I wasn't there for that. <laughs> that that cleanup was for that. Wet. Like, you know, comforters was missing in missing. They had the sex swing up. Motherfuckers was on the couch, bathroom, kitchen. Upstairs bedroom, downstairs bedroom. It was, just, it was a beautiful thing. Just, I need that's, another one of those. That's a lot. I kind of so me and my one of my close friends. He said one day we're gonna go to an orgy, and I said, "But what do you mean?" She's like, "Oh, not not participate. I just want to see it." I was like, "I, I was wondering. I'm pretty sure your husband would not be cool with that." <laughs> hey, oh. I'm going with Jason to an orgy. Oh, okay, see you get home, babe. <laughs> I have a story about an orgy. Oh, go on. Yep, I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't participating in one, uh-huh. but I, I did go to this club with this guy I was dating at the time. And um, it was very interesting because like when you first walk in, it's like a regular club environment. And then when you go to the back room, it's like, it's more like a strip club. And then they have, <clears throat> then they have like, cause they have like stripper poles and stuff and couches everywhere and then like you go down a hallway and there's like a um like a big a a giant ottoman that's probably like the size of like a king size bed and then there's couches like surrounding that and they're like people like on the ottoman and they're just going like you can watch and they're just going at it right and then there are rooms private rooms where um if you don't want to be on display right so this older white guy was um, trying to get guys to come in and have sex with his wife. Like it was like a straight gangbang type situation. And hmm. um, so like he asked my my friend and he was like, you know, no, nah, I'm good. You know, and so we ended up just going in the room to go and see what was going on. And so we go in, we walk in the room. And I see on the bed, like, this woman, she's, like, on all fours, and she's just getting pounded by this black dude, this white woman. And as they close the door, when when the door closes, then I see, like, three guys standing behind the door, and they all have their penis out, and they're jacking off, waiting for their turn. And I'm just like, oh, my God, what's going on right now? (laughs) And then Damn, where was I at? And then I look to the other side, and there's like this little Mexican lady that looked like she be she should be making tortillas in the corner, just sitting there. And I'm like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Uh, <laughs> mm. 
Mm. It was so random. Like she had on like a muumu and like her hair in a bun. Like it was just, it was just the most random shit I have ever now. seen in my life. And so yeah, so then I immediately got uncomfortable because I was like, what is what really going? It's just too much. It was too much sensory stuff going on right there. So then I left out the room because I was like, this I I can't. I was like, I cannot. And then the the guy was just standing behind his wife, just watching. And I was just like, wow, this is this is too much for me to comprehend right now. <laughs> <laughs> it, I'll it be was honest. An interesting night. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Sounds like my friend's birthday party. Oh. Wow. See, I am definitely a watcher. I will watch almost any sex thing. I will watch it because I'm interested. And my lady's the same way. She she she's a watcher too. She wants to see what's up. Uh, she's a little more brave than me. Sometimes she's a doer also, and uh, it's, it's interesting. Uh, <laughs> but oh, it's interesting because she's still asking for time. Time. Do you want to do this? Ah, uh, mm-hmm, no. <laughs> oh. Or like I've done this before. You've done what? Oh, all right. <laughs> I will never shame somebody. I will never shame anybody. It's just. If we're, I don't know, reading a book and you just randomly say, again, she hasn't said this before, but I'm using the scenario. If she says, so I remember last time I was in a gangbang. Wait, what? What? <laughs> we're reading the Bible. Dick. <laughs> you said what? That's just too much dick. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, man, what, what question you got for us? We've been, we've been grilling you. What questions you got? I have questions. Um, you can ask questions. I, I, I don't know if I have any at the moment i'm just i'm just going with the flow and i and i guess i got a question for you uh since you've done different things whatever um have what kind of threesomes have you had uh let's see um, open my seat. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> back in my day uh <laughs> yeah oh dear yeah, i'm not that old man kind of um, let's see, threesomes with friends of mine, um, married friends, um, then there was a couple I had when I was in the Navy, both of them were like friends of mine, um, because uh, it's funny you mentioned that whole, uh, gang banging someone's wife thing, um, we were, me and a friend of mine, we were getting ready to, well, I was getting ready to leave the Navy, I forget what he was doing, so it's like we should put something up on a uh, Craigslist saying we're getting ready to go out to see and whatnot and see who bites. So <laughs> we end up <laughs> we end up going to this uh, lady's house. Like husband wasn't there or anything. He's like, hey, just walk in, doors unlocked, have fun. You know, thank you for your service. So that was interesting. Oh. Hmm. Dale, comment. I <laughs> I I can't say that I've ever had a, a game bang with my friends. Uh, <laughs> oh, like they, uh, everybody's first. No, nah, it's like they were both like the uh, one. Well, one I'm still friends with. The other dude I'm not friends with anymore because he ain't shit. But uh, he should thank my he should thank his lucky stars because he'd still be a virgin if it wasn't for me. Well, I, wait. wait. <laughs> Okay, because <laughs> I don't oh, know how you start Lord. with anal. Like that's weird to me. Um, hmm. well, I mean, if you're feeling froggy, just <laughs> jump right. Okay. Yeah, um... I mean, warm warm them up first. I mean, just you know, don't don't be a, a barbarian. Just you know, ram in. That's just rude. So you know what? How do gender roles play in your relationship? Your relationship. Wow, um, this is the funny thing. For all of the crazy things I told you about, I'm extremely vanilla. I hate role playing. I don't like being tied up. No chains, none of that shit. I don't even like involving food. Like, keep food out of the bedroom. <laughs> no, I mean, like, typical things that are, like, for a man or a woman, like like that, not like role plays. Like, like uh, who's going to cook today? I'm sorry, yeah, super sexist. And- yeah, like you know, like things that would typically be done by a woman, or things that would typically be done by a man. Like, how does oh, that fit 
into your world since it's like oh it doesn't gender fluid right yeah it's just like I don't really see that like <laughs> I guess I got my mother thank for that because she was doing everything when we were growing up you know she was like raising me and my sister you know sure she was dating idiots every now and then but she was you know taking care of the house so I guess that's where I get my little mentality from it's like it doesn't matter <laughs> who the job is for as long as it can get done you know, I, I feel you on that because my mom was the same way. I was raised by just my mom. And like yeah. every time I have a girlfriend stay like a weekend or something like that, she's always blown away because I'll cook, I'll clean, I'll do the dishes because that's just that's just what I've always done. So they, they always ask, yeah. what can I do? And I'm like, I don't know. Um, just relax. You're here to yeah. relax. <laughs> uh, like Seriously, like, no, like it's, it's still like that when you know, whenever I got a place, it's like, no, if you're coming to visit me, you're not doing a damn thing, but relaxing. I got this. Don't you worry. Don't you worry just, a little here. Just, I don't know. I guess, uh, it's, hope, it's, hope you're taking notes, Danielle. Hope you're taking all the notes. <laughs> I mean, I don't have any problems with just sitting back and receiving, so. <laughs> oh, good, because I like giving. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, that's great. I mean, I guess if you you identify as being a top, then yes. that would make you more masculine, have more of a masculine role. Is that? How you know, you I never really it? saw it like that. I just sometimes I just don't want shit in my ass. Have you ever? Been a, <laughs> wow! Uh, <laughs> Get this guy in. Here, <laughs> he said, "Somebody's more shit." Um, Blunt, love it. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I, I damn, have you bought them before? This. I have, and I say not by choice. Um, uh, not that you know, but not, well, let me explain that because that just sounds kind of weird. Um, <laughs> no, 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 none of that. You know, let, okay, let me take that back. Not, not by choice. It's just like, you know. Motherfuckers would get theirs first, and then when it came time for me to get my thing, they play the uh, oh, it's too big, or you know, I'm let's take a break, or you know, I'm not really ready for that. And then I kick him out of my house, oh, okay, like Martin, gotcha. Yes, <laughs> no, well, you go. See, that's why I'm strictly top. To get to that's why I'm strictly top. exactly. It's like, no, you if my I get mine or you get out. If my lady hears she can kill me, so hopefully she's not gonna listen to this. But um Oh boy. Do you, you shouldn't say it, good sir. Too late. <laughs> uh, <laughs> do you ever get like too much sex where you're like, I just wanna cuddle? Like <laughs> Um There is no such thing as too much sex. Hmm. Okay. But <laughs> I do like to, I do like to cuddle. I'm a I'm a, an affectionate person, even with folks like if I just met you like that night and we had sex. If you're up for cuddling, I'm up for cuddling because why the fuck not? Mm. The first person, my, my current lady, when the first time we had sex, she was like, I'm not cuddling. And then she, she made me put my pants on. Damn. Wow. That's when I okay. knew I'm going to snatch this <laughs> up. That's so hard. <laughs> I found the one. Dude, no, seriously. She was like, we're not cuddling. And then I said, that's cool. She's like, I mean, if you want to, we can cuddle for two minutes. And I was like, what? <laughs> she, said, she set an alarm. She set a, a literal alarm. Wow. Two minutes? Mm -hmm. It's not even worth it. <laughs> I, I was, I'm a dick, obviously. So I said, what do I owe you? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? <laughs> she did not like that at all. <laughs> Did it go for like two minutes to like 30 seconds? I will not repeat what she said, but let's just say it was very vulgar <laughs> and angry and loud. Motherfucker, what? You don't know me shit. What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> ah. So in conclusion, I... <laughs> <laughs> Look at my ass beat. Fuck that. 
<laughs> my birthday too. I'm not going I have been promised sloppy toppy. I am not. <laughs> oh my like, god! I don't have to play around with y'all. <laughs> Jeez, I got a story for that too. Jeez. I gotta hear this. Go ahead, me, please. I gotta hear this. Um, man, um, like going on Tinder in like Portland has been a blessing and a curse. I think this is like the most sex I've ever got in a while. But the first person um that I met off of there, um, it was very sloppy and I don't like messes. It's just like if I can see myself after you're giving me head, that's a problem. Like I don't like all that. <laughs> It's, it's like nasty. It's, 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 I, it, don't spit on it. I hate that. It yeah, creeps me, me out. I'm kind so of a gross. germ. I'm a huge germaphobe. Like, don't spit on it. It's like, I was so ready. To, I was ready to get on the bus home after that. Like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm good. But you know, the bus has stopped running, so I had to stay there. Yeah. See, with me, what usually happens is, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get my ass beat for real. So, um, do you want to say that though? <laughs> I got to now. Uh, so. She gets the tip wet and that's like a I like to call it churn the butter. It's like a two hand motion thing. Jesus. And oh, it's amazing, dude. Oh, it's, oh, oh, my soul. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just like the just the, the the names people have for these techniques. Churn the butter. And I don't well, even uh, like butter. Uh, she did make it soft, and it did. Uh, you know what? Never mind. Never mind. Man. <laughs> <laughs> this this conversation is taking a turn. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. Woo! It all started well, uh, with DMs. We need to reel this back in. <laughs> in conclusion. <laughs> in conclusion. Um, yes. What's your final say so? What's you got any final remarks? I'll go around the room. Go ahead, sir. Oh, uh, why why me? For, I want to hear from Danielle first. Oh, Danielle, go ahead. <laughs> um, well, let's see. I feel like I've been educated today. Hmm. I feel like People, as as Didi has stated, people should say what they are up front and avoid being a DL person. And let's see, what else did I learn today? That um, follow your mother's advice. Give the dick, don't take it. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, it, no, if, but if you're into that, that's cool, too. <laughs> <laughs> right. And um, also, I learned that you all are some nasty motherfuckers. Well, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I well, think I my my like... question is: Are you trying to expect? Never mind. Am I trying to? Oh. No, I'm celibate. <laughs> Join the resistance. <laughs> yes, mm. there's a in my in my Facebook group. That's what he's talking about. I always tell people to join the resistance and the resistance meaning just don't and really it's a joke because people complain so much about dating that all the trials and tribulations of it and it's just like well there's always another option like you just don't have to do it you can resist it all together and therefore you won't even have to make these complaints so that's where mm-hmm. the resistance True. comes from so yeah. it's just basically because I get so annoyed with people complaining all the time about it so it's like yeah. just stop why even try but that's um, another show. I'm forced. Yeah, I'm forced to resist because all my favorite friends slash uh, friends with benefits do not live in the state of Washington. Mm. Well, uh, I was going to say something, but I would definitely get my ass beat if I say this 100%. But Danielle, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, my my romantic situation has been uh, interesting these last uh, two months. To say the least. <laughs> to say the least. You know I try to get all of them together for a thing, and I'm still working on that. Just stop. I can't. I'm so close. Oh my god. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I can't get it. Would it wouldn't happen. Uh, oh boy. But um, what I learned today, like Danielle said, everything she said, because she, we should not let her her go first because she named all the good stuff. <laughs> I I learned that apparently I am a nasty motherfucker, and uh, <laughs> that's okay. Uh, it is okay. Be you. Be you. Live in your truth. <laughs> Live your best when life. 
also, I also learned that I definitely, definitely, definitely want to watch like an orgy one day. I just want to watch. I don't even. I just want to watch. No, that's what Pornhub is for. Good yeah, time. but I want to see up close and personal. Like I want to see like the because I want to see the awkward sex. I feel like it's really awkward. Oh God, there's <laughs> nothing fun about that. <laughs> like I was. It wasn't, and nothing was awkward about what I saw. Like, it just all seemed, well, I'll say the awkward stuff that I saw was, like, a dude randomly coming out butt-ass naked with socks on, just walking around. <laughs> um, another dude that was with a, a obvious stripper prostitute-looking chick, um, he looked like Newt Gingrich. Like, that wow. was, like, the, <laughs> the weird stuff that I saw. But as far as, like, the sex uh, old money. being awkward, like everything, like people seem to be in their element. Hmm. So, I don't know. Like, I mean, one girl, she was like doing, I, I don't even know how to describe this. Like, she, like girls was just coming up to her. She was laying them down and she was just eating them one by one. So, I guess she was doing a tongue train or something. Like, I don't know. I have never thought know. about that before. But yeah, so I mean, nothing seemed awkward about it. But hmm. that is in conclusion. <laughs> oh yeah, in conclusion. Uh, yeah. Uh, what you got for us, man? What's your last conclusion? What you got? Um, I've learned that uh, not only are you a good person, you're also just as freaky as I am. Oh um, yeah. Um, I also learned that I might be Danielle's type. <laughs> and that's very important. <laughs> that is the takeaway from this. I ain't got that's no just time. like a mutual typing. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so it's time for my favorite <laughs> one, show. <laughs> In conclusion, um, the shameless self promotion. Sir, where can we find you and all your wonderful shows? Oh, God. Um, uh, SoundCloud and Google Play would be Apple Podcasts, but they don't want to accept my shit, so fuck them. Um, you can find uh, the shows there. Um, right Man Child Podcast, Casually Sarcastic with uh, Keisha and Dee, Dee under Two People Two Podcast, because I couldn't think of a better name. It sounded clever at the time. You find it there. Um, my s- Twitter and Instagram is D E D E E underscore sweets. Uh, feel free to send me whatever you want there. Daniel. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, Danielle, your turn. What do you, where, where can we find you? Well, you can find us. Just go to our website, between us, girls, podcast.com. And from there, you can uh, listen to our show in browser, or you can click on any of the links to iTunes, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and you can also find all of our social media there. So just head over to the website, BetweenUsGirlsPodcast.com. All right. And you can find <clears throat> this wonderful show at... We are the ENS podcast. That's the censored version of saying it. It's the emotions and shit podcast. You can find us on everything where you can listen to audio stuff. Uh, I don't know why I said it like that. Probably because I don't ever say it. But yeah, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. We usually post memes on Instagram. We interact with damn near everyone on Twitter. And Facebook, we, again, memes and questions. Uh, We have a group. But it's weird. The group is not named after us. We're not smart like Danielle. <laughs> and uh, we post questions and such. And that's where we get most of these ideas and concepts. But uh, I am Jason. I haven't said my name at all. And thank you, wonderful guests, for joining us today. Thanks for having me, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was great.